In the 30 years that I've been involved in Christians and the Visual Arts and in this whole movement nationally and even internationally to give um, a revival or a, what I call a quiet renaissance to uh, enliven the church's uh, interest in the arts. Um, when I compare 30 years ago to now, it's a whole different world. Artists 30 years ago were reluctant to even think about doing anything biblical or anything that related to their faith. Um, they had to fit into the world, however the world saw it. But I think SIVA and other organizations have given artists permission in a whole new way to actually put into visual forms things that are really important to them. They haven't had to step aside of those things that are really pulling at their heart and their mind to uh, conform to what somebody else might want. We've given each other permission and every time we gather together we're anxious to see what they have been doing, what God has been leading them to do. And the quality of work that is being produced now is a uh, worlds apart and, and uh, such a higher level of professionalism, of profoundness than we ever imagined. Some of us who dreamed about this 30 years ago are just so excited and can't imagine what the next generation is going to do building on that foundation that's been laid. It is my hope that after all that has gone into putting this uh, conference entitled Our Visual Legacy together, that those in this community will have sensed the great depth and uh, richness of our own visual legacy, that we'll have become acquainted uh, with new images, new artists, that will impact our thinking and our work and how we translate this back into the life of our church and that um, artists and the leadership in this church and even beyond will be inspired to struggle with the whole idea of how the visual arts can enhance worship and enrich the life of the congregation.